Gotcha. <laughs> That's a big fish. Look at that! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I've um, been trying the last few weeks to get out to film the last bit of this video, but the weather hasn't been on my side. So I'm just going to do it up at home here up the back near the sheds. Uh, I'm going to try and give you a quick walkthrough around the whole boat and what we've done. I'm so excited about this boat. It's been a long project for the last few years, talking to Sam from Performance, and we've finally got it done. So let's get into it and I'll show you around this boat. Went up with about 550 litres of fuel, nice big couple of boxes. This one's going to be a big esky, which is all done. The boys are going to finish off a few things on their own. But yeah, mate, just gives you a bit of an idea on what we do here.
cool is this? We've got the brand new Suzuki's on the back. Just been for a water test. Went absolutely fantastic. I'm so keen. Uh, I, don't, I don't even have words, actually, to be honest. So, uh, it's exciting as I'm 100% keen to get out and go fishing now. So, we're getting the final touches done. We got the floor to go in, which the old boy's going to pick up hopefully today. Got transducers to go on the back tomorrow morning, and then we got the wrap going on next week. So it's going to be a hell of a boat. I'm so keen. So let's get it finished. G'day, I'm Adrian from Cam Create, and uh, I, I uh, CNC and manufacture marine flooring by Ultralon. Uh, Ultralon is the brand, and um, today we're just going to show you a little bit of uh, the latest install uh, in Ultralon on board this um, this uh, aluminium plate boat. Um, so I uh, I use 3D scanning equipment to measure and uh, then CAD programs to uh, design and then we use our own in-house CNC uh, equipment to then cut and trim the flooring up as a kit, perfectly fitted custom. So I've been doing it for about six years, uh, so quite a while now and uh, I believe the Ultralon product is a great durable product uh, that uh, has good, really good UV capabilities. So. Um, Check it out and uh, see what you think. guy's name Sam, really easy to get along with. If you want a boat to build, he's probably your man to go to. It's anything you want, it's not a drama. He just gets in, does it done, gets in, gets it done to whatever you want. 
So everything from the front to the back, you'll do whatever whatever you like on the boat. Uh, I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the dash. Run a full Sinrad setup. So the middle screen here is the one out of my old boat that we took out and put in because it wasn't very old. I'm um, running two 12 inches as well. So we're running radar on the roof. We've got autopilot, um, the deep dropping sounder, and just normal GPS as well. Uh, so move down a little bit too. Uh, full custom seat boxes. So we didn't get the, the normal seats that you can get from Sam. He custom made these boxes, how do we want them? So the front one's just a single seat, same as the back. We got the, oh, the Pulse Street guys been and put all the clips on. Oh, these weren't here last time I was here. Uh, full pull out fridge slide on this side. So it's just a, I'll put yours down quickly. Oh. Just a full custom pull out fridge slide. If you've seen some of my recent, oh, my old videos, sorry. This fridge actually came out of my 79 before we sold it. And because it's here yeah, full stainless, we decided to put it in the boat. And I went and got a different one for my new car. So that just all tucks away in there. Push the clips back on. Uh, let me have a GoPro. Uh, this side here is an Esky that we're working on. I'll put you down again. Oh. So this one's just on a Velcro, so we can get to the um, the big S here that we've almost finished. So it's just a big lift up lid, just in there. All we gotta do is just paint it. It's all been resined and sealed, so we just gotta paint it now. And we'll just put this seat back on. So the, the left hand side, um, sorry the port side, there's two seats so you can you can squeeze two people up in here, front and back. So I did forget to mention too, in this port side box, we just got storage underneath the seat on this one. So we keep our floats and just flares and all sorts of stuff, life jackets in there. Uh, water tanks in under here, so we've got 100 litres of water, the fresh water, all plumbed up through the, the custom switch panel there. Um, we've got 600 litres of fuel. We actually stuck 605 litres in it, so... Got two big kill tanks underneath the floor. Uh, either storage or yeah, kill tanks. One there, another one here. Uh, big gunnels. So one side's fresh water, one side salt water. Can never remember which one it is. Live bait tank. Normally bungs. So also running yeah, big custom bait board drawers here, full pull out, so the first one's all gear, so all our tackles, so we don't have anything on the floor, we don't want anything like eskies and that on the floor, we don't want tackle boxes, because it marks the floor and you can't get them out, so yeah, we've got everything from your swivels, jig heads, all the deep dropping rigs from Bay Boss for the out of the shelf. I'll get that back in later. Everything from circle hooks all the way through the whiting hooks, all offshore gear. Pull out stainless drawer. And then after that again, we got the two burner gas stove. Now we just put a gas bottle on the floor. We put a towel down and we got some seat, leftover sea deck that we put on around the gas bottle so it doesn't mark the floor. And then that just goes back in there. Like so. And it all just folds away. Out of sight. 
All right, the things on the back that actually make it go, we're running two, sorry, let me start that again. We're running twin 200 Suzuki's, all fly-by-wire. We're running four blade props. All fitted by Bayside Suzuki at Cleveland. And full speed along the water on a calm day with uh, three blokes in it. We're doing about 37 knots. So worked it out to roughly about 70 k's an hour ish. Give or take. Another quick little look at the motors, transducers, underwater lights. All the good stuff. So there's the wrap there. So it's actually like a three quarter wrap. So the wrap actually starts just here. And then he's run it down. Down like that. And then that whole back section here is all the wrap. The, front, the first digger that's on me sea and land is actually built into the wrap. And then he's put another sticker over the top of that. Same with the YouTube one. Uh, name of the boat, I tail it. It's one of the things that my wife and my mum actually thought of the name because every time my old boy gets me out of bed to go to work, he says, come on, high tail it, let's go. So now we named it high tail it. <laughs> so these wheels here are the standard ones off my 200 series. We just painted the rims and put them on there. Full aluminium off-road boat trail like the Assassin. I will try and do a video of this trailer if I can at Fraser. I'm going to try and do a little bit more filming this, this year with drones and all that sort of stuff. But this drawer by here is actually a little bit different to the one that we built on the Assassin. This one's actually bifold, so we don't know how she know how it's going to work. Um, it's all good in theory, but we'll just yeah, test it at Fraser, I guess. This one here has also got a full air system with water tank system on it too so if we want a ferret fraser or we can't hose down the boat we can plug air in which comes from the back of the cars for our compressors and we can plumb the tank feeds air into it regulated and then we can wash down the whole trailer flush the motors if we need to probably only be able to do that once or twice before we run out of water because it's not a very big tank but still it's better than leaving it sit in salt water there's my anchor then I got a fit. Hey, so that just wraps about it. That's the third time I've done that. Right guys, that about wraps it up for this video. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's helped with this boat. Everyone from people who built the boat for Sam from Performance, Suzuki, Cleveland, um, everyone who's wired it, so Action Auto, Ocean Logic. Um, everyone from the Australian Marine Windows, just everyone's involved, GME, Sinrad, everyone who's helped out, big thank you to everyone. So I'm sure to do some more videos of this boat once we can get out there. Fraser should be pretty good this year. So stay tuned for all the videos coming. It's going to be a hell of a boat. I'm so keen to get, get fishing and get into it. Thanks guys. See ya.